Hello and welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about psoriasis and uh, after I make this video I realized it's more than 12 minutes and I decided to divide it into two parts. So this first part is going to be just talking about the overview of the disease, symptoms, uh, going to go through the several types of psoriasis, just briefly talk about several types of psoriasis, uh, talk about causes, talk about triggers, risk factors, and complications. And the second part is going to just focus only on treatment. Psoriasis is a common skin condition that speeds up the life cycle of skin cells. It causes cells to build up rapidly on the surface of the skin. The extra skin cells form scales and red patches that are itchy and sometimes painful. Psoriasis is a chronic disease that often comes and goes. The main goal of treatment is to stop the skin cells from growing so quickly. And currently there is no cure for psoriasis, but you can manage symptoms. Lifestyle measures such as moisturizing, quitting smoking and managing stress may help. In terms of symptoms, psoriasis signs and symptoms are different for everyone. Common signs and symptoms include red patches of the skin covered with thick silvery scales, small scaling spots commonly seen in children, dry cracked skin that may bleed, itching, burning and soreness, thick and pitted or rigid nails, swollen and steel joints. Psoriasis patches can range from a few spots of dandruff-like scaling to a major eruptions that cover large areas. Most types of psoriasis go through cycles, flaring for a few weeks or months, then subsiding for a time or even going into complete remission. There are several types of psoriasis. These include black psoriasis. Uh, the most common form black psoriasis causes dry, raised, red skin, lesions or plaques covered with silvery scales. The plaques might be itchy or painful and there may be few or many. They can occur anywhere on your body, including your genitals and the soft tissue inside your mouth. Nail psoriasis, guttate psoriasis, inverse psoriasis, pustular psoriasis, erythrodermic psoriasis, and psoriatic arthritis. For psoriatic arthritis, in addition to the classic psoriasis, this one also involves swollen and painful joints. So what causes psoriasis? The cause of psoriasis isn't fully understood, but it's thought to be related to an immune system problem with T cells and other white blood cells called neutrophils in your body. And what are the triggers for psoriasis? Psoriasis typically starts or worsen because of a trigger that you may be able to identify and avoid. Factors that may trigger psoriasis include infections such as step throat or skin infections, injury to the skin such as a cut or scrape, a bug bite or severe sunburn, stress, smoking, heavy alcohol consumption, vitamin D deficiency and certain medications, including lithium, which is prescribed for bipolar disorder, high blood pressure medications such as beta blockers, antimalarial drugs, and iodides. What are the risk factors? Anyone can develop psoriasis, but these factors can increase your risk of developing the disease. Family history, viral and bacterial infections, stress, obesity, and smoking. And what are the complications of psoriasis? So if you have psoriasis, you are at a greater risk of developing certain diseases. These include psoriatic arthritis. So again, this uh, so the psoriasis itself is involves skin, but then it can develop into psoriatic arthritis. It can involve joint damage and a loss of function in some joints which can be debilitating. Eye conditions, certain eye disorders such as conjunctivitis, blepharitis and uveitis are more common in people with psoriasis. Obesity is another complication. Type 2 diabetes, people with psoriasis, they have higher increased chance of getting type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, cardiovascular diseases, metabolic syndrome, 
Uh, so this is a cluster of conditions, including the high blood pressure, elevated insulin, and abnormal cholesterol levels, of which all of these increases your risk for heart diseases. Uh, Parkinson disease is another one, kidney disease, and emotional problems. As always, thank you for watching, and if you find this video beneficial, please like, share, and subscribe.